Welcome back as Borderlands 4 is now available on PC platform released just today selling for around 70 US dollars on Steam store and in India it's priced at around rupees 4000 you can get it at a slightly cheaper price from Green Man Gaming around rupees 3400 it's an action role playing first person looter shooter game developed by Gearbox Software features a comic book style art style some people call it cell shading game developers call it inked the game is not exactly set in an open world but the levels are quite big in size. We can use vehicles to traverse the game world. Our character is equipped with a grappling hook which makes it easier to cover long distances. It can be played in solo or co-op mode with three other players. The game story goes something like this. Pandora's moon gets teleported away by Lilith using her siren powers. This destroys the protective barrier of a planet named Kairos. Our player assumes the role of a vault hunter who must lead the resistance against a ruthless dictator named the Timekeeper and his army of synthetic followers while searching for secret alien treasures. The game supports DLSS, FSR and XCSS upscalers, even supports DLSS and FSR frame generation. I am not sure about XCSS frame generation support. DLSS frame gen is exclusive to RTX 40 and 50 series GPUs. FSR frame generation can be used on any GPU. I tried using it on my PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. It worked fine but I was not able to combine it with DLSS Upscaler which is very disappointing considering this is FSR 3.1. Upscaler was not decoupled from frame gen. Official FSR frame gen is not compatible with Nvidia Reflex. This is why Nukem 9's mod FSR frame generation feels more responsive than the in-game FSR frame generation in most of the games. Mod FSR frame gen does support NVIDIA Reflex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use OptiScaler mod to inject XCSS and FSR frame generation into the game. With XCSS frame gen, XCSS low latency mode will work, and with FSR frame gen, NVIDIA Reflex will work. Talking about the game's performance, it's very disappointing. I'll just show you the game system requirements. This game uses Unreal Engine 5. Now, I did not observe any significant stuttering. But the base FPS was always on the lower side under the minimum specs for the CPU the developers have mentioned Intel Core i7-9700 or Ryzen 7-2700X For the GPU they have mentioned an RTX 2070 or a Radeon RX 5700 XT 8 CPU cores for the processor and a minimum of 8 GB physical memory for the GPU I tested the game on low preset on my PC. The FPS was within a range of 60 to 65 in the open areas. Switching to medium preset, it dropped the FPS to around 50, 50 to 55, which is very disappointing. The game does not justify such high system requirements considering how the graphics look. I have installed GeForce Game Ready GPU Driver version 581.29. It's game ready for Borderlands 4, featuring DLSS 4 with multi frame generation. Game comes with an older version of DLSS for upscalers, so I'll just use NVIDIA app to overwrite the upscaler to the latest one, whichever offered by NVIDIA app. And just click on the graphics section, click on the three dots here, click on refresh. The list will show you all of the games installed on your PC. Select Borderlands 4. Scroll down until you find this setting, DLSS overwrite model presets. Click on the pencil icon next to it. Just select latest, apply, and that's it. I'll be verifying DLSS subscalers details using DLSS debug overlay. We'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with. Notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save close and run this registry file if you want to disable the dlss debug overlay replace the number 4 here with 0 click on file click on save close and run this registry file i'll revert the change as i want to enable dlss debug overlay select the file right click open click on yes ok first i'll run the game without any mods installed show you the base game performance shaders will get compiled at startup the first Compilation run will be longer than the subsequent runs. Here we are in. I am playing as Rafa, a human who belongs to Exo Soldier class. Visuals basic. Display mode set to windowed full screen. It's required for using XSS frame gen. No FPS cap applied. Vsync disabled. 
advance first i'll run the game on low preset upscale is set to dlss and the game supports xcss tsr and even fsr upscalers i'll use dlss now this game does come with xcss frame generation files i updated the files to the latest ones that i got from xcss sdk this gave me access to the in-game xcss frame generation setting but after enabling the setting and nothing happened it didn't improve the performance i'll just stick with the lss using the upscaler's quality preset if you use fsr upscaler you will gain access to fsr frame generation setting this setting is not available when you are using dlss upscaler reflex on the other settings that come with the low preset stick with them disable post processing motion blur scroll down to the end post process quality set to low that's it apply shift codes can be used to unlock in game rear chess my current mission recruitment drive need to help claptrap with his ripper problems map yeah it's quite big I have only unlocked a fraction of it. Skip the prologue. Straight away jump into a big open area with a lot of NPCs. Inventory. Equip two weapons. Shield. Backpack full of weapons. Skills. I have equipped this skill. Peace picker cannons. It activates my shoulder mounted cannons. Yeah, we are in current location. The headquarters of the Crimson Resistance. I'll just follow the game's compass. Your objective is highlighted on it. Compass is shown at the top of the display. Here FPS is close to 65. I completely forgot about DLSS debug overlay which is shown in the bottom left corner. It's getting blocked by the game's hard element. Render preset used this K version of the upscaler 310.3.0. This is the transformer model of DLSS 4. DLSS auto exposure setting it's on. Camp is nearby. My objective need to clear the area kill the reapers here we can use a grappling hook to pull some objects towards us combat started keep an eye on the one percent close here vran usage is close to 6.2 gb oh <laughs> this thing is after me abandoned pose just use my skill aim for the head Almost died there. 55 to 65 FPS with the low preset. Okay, now I'll switch to medium graphics preset. Graphics preset set to medium. Change a few more settings. Isotropic filtering quality, I'll just max it out 16 times. Disable post processing effects. Post process quality set to low. Motion blur quality set to off. Blur amount nil. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS dropped to around 46. This is very disappointing. Oh, <laughs> this thing. It's not going down. And it's quick. Just die already. Finally. Looking for some more NPCs. VRAM usage. Yeah, it increased to around 7.4 GB. Not observing any excessive stuttering. Unreal Engine 5 games are notorious for traversal stutters, which Borderlands 4 does not seem to be suffering from. Okay, it seems I killed everyone in the camp. Take out the flying creature in the background. I'll stick with the medium graphics preset. We'll be using XCSS frame generation now. It should increase the FPS to around 90. We'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod version 0.9.0 preview 3 20250911 available on their discord server. I'll give the link to their discord in the description of the video. Just click on the .7z link here. Open the mods archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll, XCSS frame generation, DLL file, DX11 version of XCSS not required, XCSS super resolution DLL file, XCSS low latency mode fake nv api files fake nv api will replace the in-game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode newcom 9 smart not required vulcan version of fidelity fx not required and just select dx12 fidelity fx files all three of them copy 
I'll show you where to paste them. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open OK game folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste everything here. FSR 3.1 DLL file already present in this directory. Replace. Just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. Yeah, that's it. The mod has been installed. Now I'll be enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on display settings. Click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings. Enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Borderlands 4. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model. G-Sync combined with in-game reflex and NVIDIA control panel V-Sync produces the lowest latency for a game without any screen tearing. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting G-Sync compatible indicator. I'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance metrics. Open RTSS, click on Setup here. Scroll down to the end. Make sure Enable Frame Rate Limiter and Inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Enable Use Microsoft D2's API Hooking setting. We are ready to run the game. Play. With either frame generation technique enabled, you'll observe some noticeable ghosting around the iron sights of your weapon during fast visual motion. This ghosting is actually caused by temporal upscalers like TLSS FSR and XCSS C. I'm recording the video using NVIDIA app. Hopefully it will be able to capture this artifact. OBS does not capture it. Okay, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. OptiScaler DLSS version is mentioned here. Presets are overridden externally as I'm using NVIDIA app. Input in-game DLSS, upscaler. TXGI spoofing is off. Auto Express setting is on. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select DLSS G via Streamline as the option. This game supports DLSS frame generation and Streamline version 2.7. So this option will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hardfix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay, expand FPS overlay section. Check this setting, FPS overlay enabled. Full plus graph. Click on save INI, close. We need to restart the game. Exit. Play. Now you need to enable in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Just go to the advanced graphics settings. This setting will get unlock frame generation on upscaler DLSS. Apply. There's our character. Just open OptiScaler menu. Now you just need to check active setting under frame generation XCFG. Frame time graph. Yeah, it will become thick. This means XCSS frame gen is working. Check the debug view. You will see these purple sidebars flickering. If XCSS frame gen is not working, the sidebars won't appear at all. Just disable the debug view. I'll use Intel's inspector app to verify the status of XCSS features. Just minimize the game. Run Inspect app. Click on Show All Processes. Look for Borderlands 4. There it is. Double click. XCSS Frame Generation Context 1. Yeah, it's running. XCSS Low Latency Mode Context 1. Low Latency Mode on. Can see the valid frames on the graph. All good here. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS increased to around 90. Animation quality is looking much smoother now with XCSS FG on. Games hard elements, they are not flickering. Observe the character shadow, not flickering as well. Iron sides, there is some coasting. It's caused by TLSS upscaler. XSS frame gen didn't make this coasting effect more aggressive, so that's good to see. Campsite need to help claptrap clear the area. Oh, it's already cleared. I have killed the NPCs. 
VRAM usage is close to 7.3 GB. Now just observe the edges of the display, left and right edges. I'll just activate my scale. Vignette effect is present around them. You can see some blue colored flickering lines around the edges. These lines are present even when XCSS frame gen is disabled, so not caused by XCSS frame gen. Not observing any tearing around the edges of the display, tearing effect will be caused by FSR frame generation. Now I'll show you how to use FSR frame gen. Just open OptiScaler menu. Make sure FG source is set to DLSSG via Streamline. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG. Click on Save INI, close, restart the game. Play. Again, make sure that end game DLSS frame generation setting is enabled. Upscaler DLSS. We are in. Open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation FSIFG. I'll also enable alloy sync setting. Current streamline FG state. Yeah, it's on. Current method mentioned under frame rate section. Reflex. Okay, I'll show you FSI frame gen debug view. Check this setting debug view. Yeah, no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for TLSS debug overlay. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Games interface, it won't flicker with frame generation enabled FSR. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Just disable the debug view. I'll play the game for a brief moment. Highlight the graphical artifacts produced by FSR frame gen. Moving in left and right directions, you can see a character's shadow. It's looking a bit blurry. Iron sights of our weapon produce minor ghosting during fast social motion. It's actually caused by the upscaler. Even XCSS frame gen had this issue. Games are elements. They are not flickering. That's good to see. FPS is close to 90. Can observe the right amount of smoothness. Cross here, it's not flickering. Either frame generation technique does a good job of improving the frame pacing. Okay, I'll just use my skill. Just observe the left and right edges of the display. You can see a very ugly screen tearing like effect around the edges. And we are using our skill, Vignette effect. This screen tearing like effect was not produced when we were using XCSS frame gen. There may be a mod to disable the vignette effect around the edges of the display. Not aware of it. FSR frame gen's latency is slightly higher than that of XCSS frame gen's. XCSS even produces less graphical artifacts, so I would recommend using it. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close, run this registry file, right click open, click on yes, ok. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.